What's going on guys? So my name is Roger Strick. I'm a NASA certified personal trainer. And today I wanted to give you guys some weight loss tips. We all know that losing weight, it seems like it can be very difficult. Um, you know, you don't know who to believe. There's so much convoluted information out there and you don't know where to start. So my job today is going to be to make this process as easy as I can for you and help give you some really solid advice from somebody who has experience with losing weight. You know, I used to be really out of shape. I'll have a before and after picture on the thumbnail of the video so you can see where I started from. But over the years, I've learned this information and it's been super uh, helpful and it's made what I know now uh, when I apply it to losing weight, it just makes this, this whole process so much easier. So uh, now that we're done with that, I'm gonna go ahead and get into the weight loss tips. So number one, non-exercise activity thermogenesis. So basically a great way for you to track this is by using an app, it's called MyFitnessPal. Track your steps, go outside, be more active. Um, park further away from the grocery store than you usually would. Instead of using the elevator, take the stairs. You know, there's just simple things like that that can increase um, how many calories you're burning throughout the day. So that'll be number one. Number two, and these aren't in any particular order, you know, from worst to best. All of these are helpful, so I'm just doing a one through 10. So number two, condiments, weigh your condiments, or dressing. So how many times have you ordered a salad and used ranch dressing and not known how many calories are in it? There's a lot of calories in ranch dressing, especially if you douse your salad with that. Um, barbecue sauce. If you like sweet baby rays like I do, and if you don't weigh it, those calories add up super quick. Mayonnaise, calories add up super quick. So if you're not tracking these things, the calories add up. You could easily be eating four to 500 calories a day off of condiments alone. Um, cheese, queso, sour cream, things like that really add up if you don't be careful. So. Next tip I have for you guys is eat more protein. So there's a thing called thermic effect of food. So basically what that means is how much work your body uses, how much energy your body uses to digest, process, and absorb whatever foods you eat. Carbohydrates uses the least amount of energy for your body. Protein uses the most amount of energy for your body. So if you eat more protein, just by simply doing that, you will burn more calories throughout the day. So there is a key tip right there. Um, another tip that I have for you guys is eat more fruit and vegetables. Um, fruit and vegetables, as we know, are very nutritious and healthy for you. They have all kinds of different vitamins and they're just loaded with nutrients. Another reason why they're great is because of fiber, guys. Fiber. Um, it helps lower your cholesterol, your bad cholesterol. It helps regulate your blood sugar. It helps keep you satiated longer. So the more fiber you eat, the more full you're going to feel. So eat your fruit and vegetables, guys. The next tip that I have is drink more water. Stay away from liquid calories, guys, at all costs. Like whatever, whatever you can do, try to stay away from liquid calories. And if you do, have liquid calories track whatever you have so instead of having whole milk have fat free milk i mean yeah that has calories but has a lot less um instead of drinking juice guys drink water and add crystal light to it or something like that and i don't care what anybody says about artificial sweeteners guys you having sugar in your beverages is going to be a whole lot worse than having artificial sweeteners at the end of the day, it comes down to calories in, calories out, which I'll get, get to later and I'll cover. But um, some really good zero calorie, low calorie options for you guys. Um, Zevia, um, it's a soda, it's really good. Uh, sparkling ice, I love sparkling ice beverages. I believe they have like five calories per bottle. Powerade Zero, Gatorade Zero. Um, diet soda, diet soda is not bad for you guys. Diet a and W is my personal favorite. Diet a and W slaps. It's so good. Um, so yeah, there's just a few uh, options I have off the top of my head that could really help you guys out. 
So my next tip that I have for you guys is eat more low calorie dense foods. What does that mean? So guys, your body doesn't know the difference between something having really high calories and being like in a small volume. So what that means is you can eat a cheeseburger that's really small that has 500 calories and yeah, it'll fill you up for a little while, but it won't be that much. I mean, the volume is, you know, the size of your hand, the cheeseburger, right? You can eat a big bag of spinach and it doesn't have any more than 100 calories. A big like 12, 16 ounce bag of spinach has like 100 calories, guys. You eat that, you make a big salad out of that, like out of like one of those huge bowls, you're gonna be so full, you won't wanna eat for a, for hours. And all that fiber in there as well, all that volume, you know, ghrelin, if you don't have much volume, ghrelin is a hunger hormone. And if you don't have any volume, you're just gonna be hungry all the time. So just be smart about it. Eat more high protein options, eat more fiber, lower lower calories because you can eat more of it guys so why make things harder for yourself so next tip that i have is low intensity steady state cardio guys cardio across the board if you want to lose weight it's huge it's key you got to do it um find a form of cardio that you like um for me i like to do incline treadmill uh, riding the bike outside guys go for a walk outside like I was talking about your non-exercise activity thermogenesis Go for a walk track your steps if that's a form of cardio you like if you're a begin beginner If you're old if you're really overweight guys, just be more active go outside go out in the sun get more vitamin D guys It's great for you to, to, to just be active move more um, It's just gonna help increase your results is gonna speed up the process. So another tip um, that I have for you guys is to just simply be in a calorie deficit. Guys, what a calorie deficit means is it's you burn more calories throughout the day than you take in. So whatever you eat, whatever you drink throughout the day, if that exceeds how many calories you burn throughout the day um, through exercise, cardio, and your non-exercise activity thermogenesis, um, if you take in more calories then you'll be in a calorie surplus, if you take in less calories, you'll be in a calorie deficit guys, you have to be in a calorie deficit to lose weight. So keep track of your calories. Best advice I can give is stick to a certain calorie number throughout the week. If you don't gain or lose weight with your calories being at this same point, let's just say it's 2000 calories. That means that that is your maintenance calories. So what you need to do from that point on is lower your calories. So do a 300 to 500 calorie deficit. 500 calorie deficit is a good spot. So 500 calories times seven is 3,500 calories. There's 3,500 calories in a pound of fat. So that means if you're in a 500 calorie deficit every day, every week, you'll be losing a pound of body fat every week. Guys, in a pound of bo pure body fat is a lot. So. So yeah, guys, there's that little tip there. Um, sleep, guys, we're all guilty of it. You have to prioritize sleep. Guys, if you don't get enough sleep, if you're sleep deprived, your stress hormone will be through the roof, guys. Your cortisol levels will be through the roof. It'll make it harder to not only burn fat, but also build muscle. Um, another thing is your testosterone, if you're a man, your testosterone will severely be impacted by having chronic sleep deprivation. So if you want to recover from your workouts, guys, you got to sleep enough seven to nine, nine hours every night, make it priority. And I guarantee you, you'll get your results that much faster. Last tip I have is lift weights, guys. You don't have to lift weights primarily. You, you just any form of resistance training, guys, it's going to help benefit you in your weight loss. Um, the more muscle you have, the easier it is to burn fat. Muscle burns fat, guys. You'll just be more efficient at burning fat, guys. So do any kind of form of resistance training. But guys, that's all I have for this video today. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Guys, I'm really trying to 
grow my channel and just be more regular with my uploads guys my goal is to do at least one up upload every week um, whether that be a video like this talking about nutrition whether it be a video talking about I don't know like what I eat in a day um, I have several different ideas if you have any ideas that you would like for me to do for future videos please put it down in the comments below and uh, look forward to seeing you guys in the next video thanks bye